Hey guys, what's up? This is Cory, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Okay, so it is time to go into this hole that just opened up on the side of the mountain uh, because of the, the magma emblem. So now here we are in the magma hideout. This is going to be pretty intense. Uh, do I still have sushi out front? Because that'll be really nice. Yeah. All right, so we have a strength puzzle right here. Um, there's only one thing I can do to start it out. I mean, this isn't exactly difficult. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, okay, Camelton made it possible to move boulders, so I mean, I'm just going to do that, and it's pretty simple. I'm uh, just going to get on my bike here, so make this a little bit faster. Um, that looks suspicious of being a hidden item. Uh, let's see. Nothing? Okay, continuing on. Music in here is kind of cool, though. Oh, there's random encounters, really? Okay, I guess I should have guessed that, but maybe there'll be something new. Oh, there's a Torkoal. I was just talking about that in the last episode, how um, there's something new that I hadn't caught yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and try and do that really quick. Okay, pretend and intimidate from working, that's fine. I'm not really, not too upset about that. Um, even if I go for Surf, that's easily going to kill it in one hit, so I'm just going to try Bite and see how much that does. Okay, you can take one more of those, easily. And you missed Fire Spin, that's pretty cool, because that's a pretty powerful move, I think. Alright, that did almost nothing. Or not almost nothing, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering if Twister is going to do little enough for me him to take one of those. I think I'm just going to try start trying Balls now. Uh, let's just go for a Great Ball here. Uh, no, I'm going to use the Pokeball that I found all the way in Lily Cove. I'm not sure why they gave me such a weak item so late in the game, but let's just see if it works. Okay, I didn't really expect it to. That's fine. Use Protect, really, dude? You can't protect against a Pokeball. No, that, that shit just goes through everything. Alright, well, Fire Spin is just going to keep annoying me after every single turn, so hopefully I can catch this thing before long and continue on and fight all these Team Magma guys. Because, I, you know, these hideouts are going to be really battle-heavy, so... Alright, there's three rolls, and yeah, okay, awesome. So a Pokeball, he breaks out instantly, and then a Great Ball, which is only like 1.5 times as good. It just instantly catches it, so that's pretty cool. Um, there we go, brand new Pokemon, awesome, good stuff. Moving right along here, though, uh, let's see. Okay, there's our first Grunt, but okay, I'm gonna use a Repel right now. This is gonna get ridiculous, I don't know why I didn't put one up already. It's probably gonna be like nothing but Torkoals in here anyways. Not even that high level. I feel like I might be a little bit over leveled, I'm not sure, like everything's at level 40 and usually like I have trouble, like I have to do some extra training just to get up to 50 before the Elite Four and I still have two gyms left so I don't know. I may be a little bit over leveled but I'm not saying that's a bad thing, like it's awesome to be able to just beat everyone and there's gotta be a hidden item here, this is too suspicious. Really? Then why is that there? That's just annoying, okay. It's funny how there's like all the happy bike music and then there's all these crazy magma guys that I have to fight now, so. What did we find? <laughs> I'll tell you if you beat me. Wow, really dude? You're just gonna like give me your secrets if I beat you in a Pokemon battle? I mean I have a level 40 Gyarados, like what are you gonna do? I have freaking Surf and Hydro Pump. You have you don't stand a chance. I mean seriously. Level 29 Pujaina, um, okay. I'm not really worried about that. <sighs> I'm a bit tired though, because you can tell. Uh, let's see. I'll just go. I think Surf is going to be enough to kill it, honestly. I mean, I know it's not weak to it, but he is 11 levels lower, yeah. This is just, I'm just going to take out every single Pokemon with Surf and Hydro Pump, and this is going to be so easy, it's not even funny. I bet even once I get to, um, what is it, Maxi is the Magna Leader, yeah, he's not going to be even be a challenge. So what's going on with these things? Um, okay, nothing, I can't even... Wait, what's this? This goes outside? Like, what's, what's going on here? Okay, that's a separate area. But then what's up here? This is gonna be like really long and confusing area. Can I not go up here? Like, what is that? What is the point of the stairway if I can't... That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. Wait, maybe I can... Wait. Maybe I can do this? And hop up there? No? I can't... I honestly can't understand why that's there. Like, how am I supposed to get to that? That's weird. Anyways, I guess I'll just have to continue on down this way. Um... Nope. My hidden item sense keeps tingling, but it's really bad because there's never any actual hidden items. Alright, so next guy up. Let's see what you got. Hold it right there. You don't really expect me to keep my trap shut unless you waltz by me. I just realized I didn't read what the other guy said after I finished battling him, even though he said he was going to tell me what they were doing, and I just completely skipped over it. I'm sure you guys were able to see it on screen for a second there, but I didn't even notice. Alright, so there's a little tw level 29 Numal, which is really pathetic, and I like, lower its attack, but it doesn't matter because it's not even going to get a chance to attack, because I'm just going to surf and destroy it in one hit. I probably could have even killed it with like a bite or something, because these Pokemon are just so weak. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Oh wow, I concede. What do you mean you concede? No, you don't forfeit. I just destroyed you. Like, you don't even get the pleasure of having the chance to forfeit. Okay, um, you know what? I might as well battle her. Just it, I think this is a chick. 
What, what, what? Only Team Magma members are supposed to be in here, but you're not dressed in Team Magma's uniform. You rouse my suspicion. Battle with me. Yeah, well, the door was just wide open, so... At least these guys aren't idiots and, like, suspecting me of being from Team Aqua. Like, all the Team Aqua guys, like, see me, and I, like, nothing like Team Magma, but they're all like, Hey, are you from Team Magma? Why are you meddling in our stuff? Blah, 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 blah. And it's really stupid, but this chick at least knows what she's talking about, but... Okay, so this thing is my Daina. I mean, it's a pretty powerful Pokemon, but it is still only level 29. Um, I feel like I'm using up all my water moves. I mean, I do have, like, an elixir and stuff, but I don't want to have to use those already. I don't know, I'm just gonna try Bite and see how many times it takes. Okay, Dark is weak to- is, uh, resistant to other Dark moves. I didn't know that, but it flinched, that's cool. Um, we'll see how Twister does. I know it's a really bad Dragon move, it's only, like, power 40, but... Might as well see how much it does, because, I mean, the level difference is pretty ridiculous, so... And this thing hasn't even attacked me once yet, so it's just using Odor Sleuth and stuff, so I'm just gonna keep going for Twister, try and save my water moves, um, for when I get to Maxi, just cause I can. I mean, this thing, and it keeps flinching, that's the cool thing about Twister. See, this move actually isn't all that bad, now that I'm such a high level, like, I don't know. Okay, well there goes my Daina, just totally easy, it never even inflicted any damage on me. All it did was identify me, which I don't even know what that means. Aye, my pride is a Team Magma member! Oh yeah, shut up. You just got destroyed by a super powerful trainer. No need to be upset. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna battle every single one of these guys. I mean, maybe I should. I don't know. I guess I could try to do it. Okay. I thought those guys were gonna get into a double battle with me, but I don't know. I guess not. So apparently I'm an intruder. I mean, the door was just wide open. It just kind of broke there. It just, like, the, the rocks just caved in while I was walking by, so... It wasn't really my fault, dude. Alright, so Baltoy is, what, like, Psychic Rock, I think? So, I'm gonna try for Bite, and that might be super effective because of the Psychic. Unless Rock is resistant to Dark. No, just easily- oh, that was so ridiculous, yeah. Get out of here, dude. You suck. So bad. <laughs> Getting, like, no experience from this, though, because- okay, there we go, Cat Food's leveling up already, that's nice, nice. Hopefully my Raichu will be usable by the time I start continuing on past Lily Cove. Fighting all the Team Aqua guys, get some electric attacks in there, just destroy them. Alright, so this Numel's not posing much of a threat, I'm just gonna try Bite again, again, saving my water moves. I know I still have quite a few PP for both of them, but, I mean, you know, might as well. If I can kill him in two hits with another move, I mean, why not? I'm losing, like, no HP, so... Okay, I'll at least do you guys the courtesy of skipping one of these guys. So this other dude that's going around here, I'll, I'll skip him. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. That's fine. Just continuing on down here. Uh, past splits again. Oh, we're Pell off. I definitely want to use another one of those right now. And let's see here. Uh, do I go in the door, or do I go down here? I have a feeling this is going to be a dead end with just like... No, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Um, okay, this looks like it's continuing on. That door probably just goes to some little area, I don't know. If I could maneuver my bike well, then that would help. Uh, let's see. So there's some more guys there. Uh, I'm really not sure. Like, this place just branches off so many times. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculously huge. Uh, I don't know where to go at all. I guess I'll just start battling these guys. I mean, why not? You can hear tremors here sometimes. Could it be the volcano rattling, or is it gro- Whoops! No, no, never mind. Okay, yeah, so, you see, he's, he's starting to give some stuff away now. These guys can't keep their mouths shut. Uh, let's see here. Team Agile Grunt would like to battle. Yeah, um, I know that. That's what they're here for. I mean, they're trying to defend their shit, but they just can't touch me. I feel like, um, I could almost bring out Catfu right now, just because these guys are so underleveled, and I mean, it would be super effective, but I don't care. I'm just gonna go with Bite, just get this over with. Okay, that was... did quite a bit. Uh, I'll just go for Twister now, just finish it off. And this guy only has one Pokemon, so that's nice. I saw there was an item over there, but I'm probably gonna have to battle the other guy first before I can get it. And just get an experience like none other. Um, I'm not a fiery battler, I was using a water Pokemon, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. See, these guys, they just don't know what... they don't understand. Okay, yeah, see, I do still have to fight this guy before I can get the item that's really annoying. One of our guys was freaking out that he lost his Magma Emblem. Wait a minute, was it you who found it? I don't really know how he would guess that, unless he like, happened to see it in my bag or something, but yeah, it was me. Deal with it. I'm better than you, just, yeah. I don't know why that guy could see me from so far away, when some of the trainers, I can be like, only two blocks away and they won't see me and start battling me. But I guess this guy just had to protect his item or whatever, it's pretty weird. So I'm just gonna go for Twister, because why not? I mean, if a Might Iena didn't even attack me once, like, I have a feeling this Pooja is not gonna be much of a threat either. And it's gonna be a two-hit KO with Twister, that's really sad. And uses Swagger, so that kind of sucks, I don't like to be confused. But hopefully I can just attack him and get this shit over with. Come on, Sushi, you can do it. Come on. Aw, oh, really, dude? You have to hurt yourself? Come on. Wow, that did so much. I didn't notice if Swagger, if it says uh, raised attack or sharply raised. 
Okay, no, this is really bad. I need to... Oh, man. Okay, at least he's not attacking me, but I need to heal. Maybe I'll just switch out and then heal uh, post-battle. I'm just gonna do that. So I'll just go to Bird Bro, I guess, because he's one of the two Pokemon I have that aren't quite level 40 yet, trying to even them out. I keep, I, I keep forgetting I even have... Okay, he used Roar. Like, what is that gonna accomplish? Okay, well, Cat Food gets a chance to get some action here. That's kind of cool. Even though the experience is gonna be really split now, but uh, I guess we'll just go for... Should I go? I'm gonna try Hidden Power and see if it happens to be super effective, because then I'll... It doesn't affect Kuchaina. Oh gosh, okay, what is Dark immune to? Does that mean it's Psychic? Because that would be really awesome if I had a Psychic move. I think I think that has to be. I think Dark is immune to Psychic. That's really cool. So now I know if I have like Poison types, then I can just use Hidden Power on Cat Food, and he has a Psychic move. That's really cool. I'm glad that worked out. And Cat Food's just getting half the experience from that, and everyone else gets like nothing, because I have like four Pokemon in that battle. Alright, so now I can get this item, see what it is, and it's a Max Elixir, that's pretty awesome. I don't even have one of those yet, so... And now we can continue on, and I think I'm about at the end here. Oh, yeah, I need to heal Sushi really badly. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of those Lemonades that I got. Actually, no, I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Super Potions, because... I can use the I can use as many of those as I want, you know. When I'm in battle, I wanna use an item that heals more HP, because I can only, you know, it takes up a turn. But when I'm doing it outside of battle, I might as well use the ones that heal less, because I can use as many of them as I want at a time. So I think going up here, I'm gonna be heading up towards the boss, so... I can't stand Heat. Maybe I should've joined Team Aqua instead. Wow, this guy doesn't even know what he's doing. I don't have a bone to pick with you, I'm just following orders. Wow, these people are just blindly following Maxi, just destroying little kid, well, trying to battle little kids with their Pokemon, and just... They don't even like it here, see? He's a bad boss. He doesn't have his workers happy. Okay, I was just trying to come up with something clever to say. It didn't really work out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to go for a Surf. Uh, I have to wait for the Intimidate to go. But Oh, and then I'm going to have to wait for both my Pokemon to get Intimidated because my Daina has it, right? Yeah, okay, that's really annoying. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though. We each have a Pokemon with Intimidate and then one from the Numo family. I don't know why his doesn't evolve. I don't remember what level Camel Toe evolved at. But anyways, just gonna go for a Surf and Earthquake. Both moves affect both enemies. Pretty useful. And I like how in this version, um, those kind of moves like don't affect your teammate. I know they started doing that in like 4th or 5th gen. I think it was 4th. And it kind of sucks, because then I couldn't do this because Surf would like kill Camel Toe, but... And Sushi is immune to ground, which is awesome, being part flying type. And this is easily gonna kill my Daina. Yeah, Earthquake is just OP as fuck. <laughs> Okay, that was super easy. All these Mago Grunts just, they don't know what they're doing. I may have lost, but, but what? But you're terrible? I mean, all right, so there's another item here. Oh, for some reason I thought this was gonna be the boss just because there was the magma there, like the, the lava bubbling up, but I guess not. So this is the dead end. Um, no, actually there was that one other place all the way to the right that I didn't go to yet. Okay, Repel War off, obviously. Need to use, need to use another one of those. Um, where is it? There we go, Super Repel. Okay, I don't really want to run out of those, that's why I got so many. Um, I think I'm fine, but... Alright, just moving along here, uh, going all the way up this way, there is another door. Yeah, let's see where this leads to. Okay, this is a long, little narrow path here. Come on, bike, what are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna get off that thing, it's starting to get a bit annoying. Especially with all these, like, sharp corners. I'm gonna have to battle this guy, right? Yep, okay, that's fine. When Team Magma has a roll call, we get important guarding assignments in order that we line up. That's why I'm stuck off in this corner. I'm always late to roll call. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you know what? You deserved it, dude, because you're just... I mean, Team Mag being in Team Magma is bad enough, but you don't even, like, show up on time, and then they just stick you in this corner. What a life. I mean, I'm sure this guy just loves his job so much. <laughs> I'm just going to free them all, just destroy Maxi, and hopefully they'll all just go crying home to Mama. Okay, that was terrible. I'm just going to go for a bite. And that almost kills it in one hit, so I guess I'll go for a Twister next and just take it out really easily. Okay, I'm confused again. I keep... Sushi keeps getting confused. It's kind of annoying. Um, actually, I'm going to go for a Bite again just because it has more PP and Twister takes more moves to kill a Pokemon anyways. And I use it right through the confusion. That's awesome. Sushi's just rocking everybody now. About to level up to 41. Yeah, sweet deal. And there we go. Another Grunt dead. Well, not dead, but his Pokemon are. Not even that, they're fainted. I hate that. Like, why can't the Pokemon be dead? I mean... Okay, so there's an item. All that, and I just get an item. Okay, it's a rare candy, I can't complain. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna use that on uh, Cat Food right away, just to help him level up and get caught up with everyone else. There we go. Elevated level 27, that's pretty awesome. Alright, and now we can go back over here and continue on... Let's see, where else can I go, though? 
because I go back and I went, there were like three branching off paths in this room, and I already did all of them. There were just some items, but okay, repel we're off again. I'm gonna be going through these like crazy. I'm just gonna get rid of the max repel while I can, just because I'm not gonna be buying those, and I mean, it lasts for longer, so you know, why not? <laughs> I just did a little wheelie there. I'm just gonna ride around to the wheelie the whole time, just because I can. Alright, so let's see. Oh, yeah, there's this area down here that I didn't go to yet. Okay. So that's all good. Uh, continuing on in this magma hideout, there's just tons of guys here. Some more lava. I would laugh if I could go up to that and it would be like, do you want to use Surf? <laughs> That'd be a really funny thing they could add, and then you like go in there and you just die. Like instantly just white out and go back to the last Pokemon Center because all your Pokemon get burned alive. Okay, another Zubat. I don't know why these guys have Zubats. Like, it's a pretty terrible Pokemon to have. Especially at level 29, I would assume it evolves into Golbat at an earlier level than that. I don't really know. Okay, just gonna go for a bite, take this thing out in two hits, like always. It'd be awesome if I got a critical though and didn't have to deal with the second turn, but oh well. This battle's gonna be over super fast, just like all the others. Not any challenge at all. Just wrecking all these guys, just plowing through them with sushi. Gyarados is a freaking awesome Pokemon. Probably really overused, but you know, I don't really care. Okay, so here we have another split off. There's a door there, and then this goes down here. Um, okay, I do have to battle her. There's only one guy that I was really able to skip. Well, I could have skipped both of them, but only one guy that I did skip. And, you know, I'm gonna obviously try and get those items. I'm not just gonna ignore them just because there happen to be trainers in the way. I mean, they all have, like, only one Pokemon each, so not really much of a challenge at all. And this one I can just go bite and take him out in one hit again because of the part Psychic type. That's really nice. And I cut his attack, but it doesn't really matter. Because that's that. And I get a critical unnecessarily. You know me, I was just always doing that. Okay. Team Magma Grunt was defeated. Oh no, you're not to be trusted at all. Why would you want to trust me? I'm just coming in here destroying everything you guys have worked for. Okay, another item here. Oh, it's a nugget. That's pretty sweet. Bunch of free cash there. See, that's why I don't need the amulet coin. Like, I have so much money already, and then I'm just finding nuggets everywhere. And, okay, this is freaky. There's, like, drill machines and stuff in here. I don't know what these guys are planning, but... I mean, I do, but I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys in case you haven't figured it out by now. Okay, there we go. He just spoiled it completely, right as I was saying that. I want to see Grodon, too, but they won't let me even see its tail. It's got me feeling very frustrated. Oh, no, I blabbed about Grodon. I know a lot of people say Groudon, and I'm sure that's probably right, but, I mean, sometimes in words, OU just makes an O sound, and for some reason, that's just what I thought it was when I first saw it, so I call it Grodon. Deal with it. <laughs> I don't know, I've heard some people have really... Does Baltoy not have a gender? I never noticed that. Look, it, like, it's genderless. It doesn't have anything. It's interesting. I mean, it is just a rock. Okay, there was another level 29 Baltoy, and it got killed in one bite, and this one doesn't. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well, he's dead now, so that's fine. Uh, I can't even remember what I was about to say, though. Oh, yeah, so I've heard some people come up with, like, really interesting pronunciations for different Pokemon. Like, I mean, of course, there's a lot of ones that people pronounce many different ways. And I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, but just some that I've heard are really funny. It's like, how did you actually come up with that? <laughs> Fwahaha! Soon, very soon, our ground objective will be achieved. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. You're not finished yet, you're not getting by me easily. Actually, I probably am, because you're just gonna suck like everyone else. I'm just gonna plow through you guys, but I mean, that's fine. I'm sure you can deal with it. Um, Team Magma Grunt, Team Magma Grunt. They all have the same name, you can't come up with anything. I mean, I guess it's just because there's so many grunts that they didn't want to try and come up with a different name for every single one of them. That's my guess, because they're just lazy like that, but you know, that's fine. So I'm wondering what I should do here, because, I mean, Sushi's going to go first, and Surf is going to take out Numel easily, so it would be kind of pointless to use Magnitude. So I guess I'll just go for a Strength on Zubat. If he survived the Surf, then that'll take him out easily. And I'm not, I didn't notice, but I think these guys still only had one Pokemon each. Like, it's kind of good that they did that, because there's so many of them that, I mean... Okay, and Surf just kills both of them, even though it's not super effective on Zubat. That was fantastic. Way to go, Sushi. It's wrecking everybody. And now Cameltoe leveled up to 40. That's pretty nice. And... Alright, all that experience. kind of sucks that Bird Bro is now two levels lower than Sushi, but I kind of need to have my water Pokemon out here for these guys, so... Moving right along. I haven't, honestly, I don't think I've been hit by a single fire move once, though, so, I mean, that kind of says something. Max, you went to Grodon just seconds ago. It's going to awaken really soon. Okay, well, thanks to the tip, dude. I'm about to go try and stop him, so, you know, there's that. And I can't believe it's taken me a whole episode just to get through, like, okay. Oh, she's an admin, that's why. Like, all of a sudden, this person has four Pokemon. I'm like, what is going on here? Okay, so she's not going to be too much of a challenge, I don't think, but I'm still, I don't know. I mean, if I save, like, four of my Hydro Pumps, I mean, that's fine. 
Um, I'll probably save like two surfs as well because Hydro Pump doesn't always hit. So I'll just use, you know, probably take out all four of her Pokemon with one surf each. And if not, then I'll just go for a Twister or a Bite and that'll be done. But yeah, Bird Bro wouldn't really be much use here. I mean, even though I haven't gotten hit with a single Fire Move yet, mostly because none of them had a chance to attack. Because I'm just taking them all out with Water Moves and even Bite, just destroying everybody. And I'm sure a Surf is even going to kill this camera up in one hit. Yeah, just way too easy. Super effective, I know. Actually, it's, yeah, because that's doubly effective, because um, water's also good against ground, so. Okay, my Daina, yeah, I'm just going to go for a Surf, and that one might not kill it in one hit, but then I have, you know, I can just do Twister. Yeah, you're not really intimidating me, like, you're not scary at all, you're just a stupid dog. Uh, my Daina looks pretty awesome, though, I'm not going to lie, and it still killed it in one hit. That's just so embarrassing, I mean, come on now. What else was she going to have? Okay, just another Zubat. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to bother using a Surf on this thing, like, it's not necessary, it's just level 28, I'm just going to go for Twister. Like, you don't even deserve the full power potential of my Sushi, like, it's just ridiculous. Okay, that's not going to be a 2 at KO, so I'm going to go with Bite so I can kill it in one more move. Hopefully, yes, okay, sweet deal. And I just realized I have my own Kecleon, so I could, like, have take that out of the PC for a second and put it in my party and then attack it with, um, attack it with cat food, and that way I can confirm if that's a psychic type hidden power. Alright, so let's see, there's another, another item here, and I can't get it from that way, that's annoying. Alright, Max Survive, and that's about gonna do it for this episode, it looks like our time is up. So I'm assuming I'm about to get to Maxi, so I'm probably gonna fight him right away in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, please give the video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time, goodbye.